Hi, this is Steve Walton from Tropic Heating and PatioHeat.com. Here we're going to look at the outdoor seating area for this residential application. So let's just go ahead and go right into the dimensions here. So basically I have uh, 30 feet and a few inches going left to right, 12 feet deep, and then also um, we have a couple of different uh, elevations here. Uh, at the bottom edge here I have 8.6, uh, at the top edge I have 9.6, and then at the bottom of the lattice pieces here, I have at 911. So um, not quite sure about how all that measurement uh, truly is, but uh, this will be a, a quick evaluation. You can see the spread here between these double um, support beams here. I have at uh, 49 on the inside edge, and then that's true for this as well. Um, this is a... Um, window bay style window that comes out and then two other windows no doors or anything of that nature that i see in the images that were sent so i just have a small um seating arrangement here and also the customer sent me um the pictures and they show a bunch of um lights that are dangling down from all this lattice work up here um, in order to put these heaters here, you'd have to rearrange that so that the center um, portions are open. So we'll take a look at that right now. And here is an idea of gas heaters. So these gas heaters you can see are at the bottom edge of the gas heaters would be one foot, one inch. And that's at this nine foot uh, elevation here. Um, and Anyways, there's a 14 inch uh, clearance above the heater. And then you could just connect these uh, brackets to wherever the lattice, you know, kind of works out as far as the placement is concerned. If you needed to, you might put a block between two of these lattice to make up that uh, gap if that's what is necessary. Have these heaters centered in this 15 foot span. So that would be the center of the heater. So seven and a half foot from the um, center of these post here. Now um, I do have two sets of them in each one of these locations and that's only because of the fact that when I turn the ray on here then the um, you know the the ray doesn't hit out hit the uh, seating area you know completely you could angle the heater and get some more heat but then um, you'd have to increase the clearance just about about four inches more than what I have right now when you angle the heater at all so I placed two units here. Now you may choose not to heat up this area at all. I'm not quite sure what the use is, but you can also see that the footprint of heat isn't going to cover this whole 15 foot span. The best you're going to get out of a sunpack heater is about a 12 foot span. And that's if the heater was up another, say roughly a foot or maybe six inches. Um, so this is the best you're going to get, but this will be a nice, um, uh, heated area right there. So if that's all you're looking for, great. And then if you need both both spaces, you could do that, or you could you know simply just take the uh, two units here. Let's see if I can grab them here. And if I move them roughly, uh, let's just say two feet in either direction. Um, I'll do that over here. Move that two feet. And then you can see that we're getting a better coverage. You might even go two and a half feet so you can get a nicer crossover and then move the table and chairs over and maybe have a different uh, seating arrangement over here. So just keep that in mind, but it wouldn't be centered in the patio, obviously. So that's something to think about. So let me just go back on that and clear that for a minute. And we'll go into what electric heaters might look like. So... Um, by the way, those were Sunpack S34s or TSHs. TSHs allow you to turn it from 25,000 BTUs up to 34,000 BTUs. And what I'm showing here are um, Infratech C-Series heaters. These are 6,000 watt dual element units. You can put a control system on it. They're basically in the same locations. Um, and again, this is why we can't have those um, lights dangling throughout the patio here. Um, the only uh, advantage you get of this is that they're electric, so if it's windy, um, the wind doesn't blow the electric rays away. The gas heaters, the gas gets blown around, so it's not as efficient in windy conditions. But 
in normal conditions, gas heaters are perfect. And um, as long as you have ventilation, that's a perfect application as well. But here we have the two 6,000 watt units. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, footprint of heat. And by the way, I just have them centered in this space here. Um, and that's what's important with regards to the clearances. So the clearance is above, clearance is below, no problem in either way. So let's look at the rays. Rays is the same kind of footprint almost. It's a little bit less from left to right. You get about 11 foot throw. And um, here you can see we have good crossovers. And the same would be true if you wanted to utilize the space a little bit differently where you can have this um, integrated together. You'd have to pull these another two feet, 20, you know, say uh, uh, two and a half feet in, two and a half feet this way so that you got a nice footprint that goes all the way through the whole patio. Um, if you were sitting right here, for instance, you know, you're just not going to be warm in that spot. You can even see here as I stand, um, my, my model here stands in the center. Your head's not being hit by the rays. Without being hit by the rays, you are not going to feel the warmth of the, of the infrared heaters. These do not heat air. They heat mass, human body being mass, tables, chairs, floors being mass. So, Something to consider. In any case, those are my thoughts for this application. Um, you could actually put a control system on the 6,000 watt units so you can dim them down from 1% on to 100% on, which is kind of nice as well. And I think that's it. So if you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application, send your request to support at patioheat.com. And if you give us a thumbs up, that would be really great. Thumbs up helps us with the uh, YouTube algorithms. We don't advertise on our channel, so you don't have to watch any ads. So I appreciate that very much. And we do look forward to your comments, by the way. You know, there's a lot of comments that come in, and we do answer those as fast as possible. Thank you, and have a great day.